All right, back here in the Bay Area, and East Bay City has been chosen as one of five across the nation to compete in a new Hulu series. KPX 5's John Ramos talks to Benicia residents about their city's future on Hulu. Benicia is a small town that doesn't mind being a small town, but the businesses here wouldn't mind getting a few new customers, and they're hoping they're about to get some help to do just that. The TV series Small Business Revolution usually focuses on middle America towns suffering tough economic times. What if we can get one small town the makeover it needs to turn things around? Hosts Amanda Brinkman and Ty Pennington devote half a million dollars to help five struggling businesses improve their physical and financial situations. But if it wins the season five vote competition, Benicia would be a change of pace. The town isn't struggling to survive. It's just trying to come out of the shadows. People, even in the Bay Area, are familiar with Benicia as that community they drive by. Uh, but we want them to get off the freeway and come visit our downtown. Benicia already has a lot to offer, a waterfront promenade with restaurants and antique shops in its charming downtown. Oh, and then there's the One House Bakery. It's only been open since October, but on weekends, the lines are out the door. Owner Hanalee Pervin emigrated from Canada to become the bread chef at the famous French Laundry restaurant in Napa County. But she moved to Benicia because of how it felt here. And we came to Benicia and we walked down and people were saying hi and like smiling and I'm like, as a Canadian, it was like, this is like what you think of small town America is like everybody was happy and it was, it was wonderful. Across the street, Jennifer Negretti opened her collective boutique in a building that had been red tagged since the 2014 Napa earthquake. Now she can sell trendy clothing and craft accessories for a reasonable price because she's not getting killed by high rents. I mean, I'm excited that I got in when I did and was one of the first ones to open a new shop, but I, I am definitely happy to see more businesses, even businesses like mine, come to town. The city already feels it's on the rise, and by winning the vote contest, it would gain national attention and stop Benicia from being such a well-kept secret. If Benicia wins, the hope is that the national exposure will bring tourists to the area to support even more small businesses without destroying the small town feel. In Benicia, John Ramos, KPIX 5. Voting for the Small Town Revolution series is open until this Tuesday, the 21st. Just head to smallbusinessrevolution.org.